Hey, what's going on guys? Jolts here, back with another item guide, and today we're going to be going over the legendary Radical. To get this gun, you will need the Director's Cut DLC, and this weapon can be farmed from three different locations. You can either farm Hemovorus the Invincible, the Seer, or my personal favorite, and also the easiest, Beef Pliskin. If you do want to farm Hemovorus, you can see here on the minimap, you can find the mission over at Claptrap's Closet, and you will have to pay 500 Iridium each farm. Or you can come over to Ava's room, here it is on the minimap, and in this location, you're going to find the murder missions. Now, this is the mission chain, so there's going to be four different missions. But once you get to the third mission in which you can go to Pandora, that is where you can farm Beef Pliskin. Again, you can farm the Seer all the way at the end of this mission chain, but Beef Pliskin is going to be a lot faster and easier. Also, his loot pool is not crowded too. So, we're over here at Crass Canyon on Pandora on the third mission for the mission chain. And what you're going to do is come right over here on the map. And in this location, you're going to find Beef Pliskin. Now, I did already get this drop on a live stream, so I will go ahead and play that clip now. All right. Legendary? Free Radical. Okay, that was the Radical. You were talking about that earlier. The stats overall on this gun are pretty good, and it's very comparable to the Hell Shock or even the Beacon. One thing to note is this weapon only comes in Shock Element. As for the red text, don't be so negative. It does have a unique weapon skin. You can see here on the side it has kind of a hexagon pattern and a green and red color theme. It almost reminds me of Christmas. So what does the weapon do? Well, it's basically a beacon without the Novas mixed together with the carriers. So when you shoot it, for each projectile, it will send out a humming shot. Also, the humming projectile will be shock damage too. And yes, this is a charged Malawan, so you do have to charge it a little bit before the bullets start shooting out. But once it is charged up, it will shoot fully auto. We are on max difficulty, and you can see here we do have a splash annoy on it. And the splash damage does apply to the bullets, but not for the homing bullets, so do keep that in mind. So shoot the cannon, activate the annoyant. And the damage output is pretty good. And just like most weapons, if you give it to your clone, it is pretty good too. It isn't the most accurate for super long range, so clone will miss a lot of shots with it. Well, we've proved that it's pretty good for mobbing, so let's go ahead and take on a boss. Alright, Red Trot, let's go ahead and proceed forward. Start shooting the shots. And you can see the damage output is awesome on it. Uh, let's give it to clone. Clone can finish off. And there we go, boss down. Alright, final thoughts on the free radical. This weapon is great. There isn't really much to say about it, the weapon is good, but as for the complaints, this weapon only comes in shock element. Overall, it's a pretty decent weapon, works great for mobbing and bossing, and yeah, I would say pick this one up, guys. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and of course, if you did, then please be sure to leave a like, because that'd be awesome, and if you guys really enjoyed it, be sure to sub. You guys have a great day, and I will see you all later. Peace out.